Hey guys. Well, today I have another bad day of news story for you. Back in the day when I was hanging out on Bay 23rd, me and Tommy Reynolds one night, we end up meeting two girls from 13th Avenue. They pull up in a Lexus and I start rapping to them. I started talking to one of the girls. Tommy Reynolds was with me. I introduced Tommy Reynolds to this other girl. I don't want to reveal their names. I did that in the past and I want to stop doing that because I don't want to give them no heat. Tommy Reynolds ends up marrying this girl, has a kid with her and makes her his wife. Now, before this even went into marriage, this girl was also interested in hanging out with Paulie G. Paulie G hung out with her a few times. Tommy Reynolds brought it to my attention. I didn't know at the time that Paulie G was hanging out with her and Tommy Reynolds was very upset because he really took a liking into this girl. Anyway, after Tommy Reynolds and Joey Calco kills Paulie G, Tommy Reynolds ends up marrying the girl, has a kid with her. So just to give you an idea of how the streets are, I saw so many guys get killed and beat up over girls. Now this is another story that you're gonna say, wow. So one day on 13th Avenue, you had this guy, Fat Tootie. Fat Tootie was a knock around guy from 13th Avenue. He was around the Colombo guys. He always hung out near a nail salon called Modern They Touch Nail Salon. It was an old nail salon that all the wise guys used to go to. One day what happens is Tommy Reynolds' wife or girlfriend at the time ends up walking in there. She gets her nails done. Who's there? Fat Tootie. Now Fat Tootie, he was a real heavyweight guy maybe 400 pounds, and he ends up touching her ass or saying something to her, flirting with her. Whatever he did, she went back and she told Tommy Reynolds what he did. That was the worst thing she could do because right there, she's gonna put this guy in the hospital after she tells Tommy Reynolds what this guy did, he touched her ass, he flirted with her. Tommy Reynolds grabs Fabrizio. Now, Fabrizio is always a tough kid. He's tough with his hands. He's not a trigger guy. He's capable of pulling the trigger. When you're in the street, any guys that you're around is capable of pulling the trigger. Pulling a trigger is not hard to do. It's very easy. You put a gun in your hand, you pull a trigger. I pulled the trigger before. A lot of guys on the street pull triggers and a lot of cowards on the street pull triggers. So anyone's capable and everyone has a function when you're in a crew or in a family, whether you're an associate or a wise guy. Not every wise guy in a family committed a murder. So that's not true. To be in a family, you have to be an earner, a killer, a knock around guy, a serious guy, and someone that has good character and they want you to be a member of their family. So getting back to this thing with Tommy Reynolds and Fabrizio, this guy Tootie. So Tommy Reynolds grabs Fabrizio. Tommy Reynolds comes with a nice iron crowbar and he drives around the neighborhood with Fabrizio and he's looking for this fat tootie that usually hangs out on a corner near Nettie's Bar on 13th Avenue. One day, Fabrizio Tommy Reynolds sees the guy tootie standing on a corner. They pull up. Tommy Reynolds just cracks him over his fucking head with a crowbar. Bang, bang. Fabrizio beats him up. Bang, bang, bang. They fucking annihilate this guy. They put him in a fucking coma. He's in the hospital with fucking oxygen mask. You can't even recognize this guy after what they did to him. Later on, a couple days later, 
who comes to Sparrow's Club? Alley Boy Persigo, the son. He's the boss of the family at that time. And he goes and talks to Anthony Sparrow. As he's talking to Anthony Sparrow, he tells Sparrow he wants Fabrizio and Tommy Reynolds' head. That what they did was uncalled for and he's not happy with it. That it was done on 13th Avenue. Sparrow sits down with Alley Boy. He tells him, ain't no one touching these guys. Fabrizio and Tommy Reynolds, they were me, they're in record with me. And he explains to Alley Boy Persigo what took place as far as Tootie uh, flirting with Tommy Reynolds' wife and touching her ass. So Sparrow wins the sit down and nothing happens to Fabrizio and Tommy Reynolds. Now, later on, when we all get arrested, this is how the street works. In the street, a lot of guys want you killed. And then when you go to jail and you meet them in jail, they want to be friends with you. That's exactly how the wise guys are. The wise guys have a lot of clout in the street, but when you go to jail, they really don't have no clout because every man has to stand on their own two feet. So Alley Boy wants to be friendly with us and I see Fabrizio when I got pinched and he says yeah he says Jimmy he tells me the whole story what happened and then he says Jimmy look he says now they want to be our friends because the streets are for the young and when we're in the street they want to use us but then when we're in jail they need help and they want us to protect them so this is how the mob works, just to let you know, giving you an insight of how things are done in the street. They were bossed in the street, then when they get picked up, they're just regular people, just like you and me. So I wanted to share this story with you. It's a pretty good story. This guy, Tootie, ends up later on dying, uh, maybe a year or two later. But Tommy Reynolds and Fabrizio gave him a fucking beating of a lifetime, a beating that no one else would ever want to get from these guys. They made an example out of him, and throughout the whole neighborhood, everyone made sure that no one even spoke to Tommy Reynolds' wife anymore. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this story. It's another Bad Day Avenue story of the Bad Day Avenue crew. If you like this story, please subscribe to my channel and share, share, share. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Today, I'm going to be going out to dinner with a friend of mine and maybe hitting a cage match. And hopefully, I'll get a little video in in the course of the day. But everyone, have a great Saturday. I love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.